You know as well as I do that life can be really tough sometimes. And I know that sometimes it just isn't justification for all of the unfortunate things that happen to us. But I also know that we all have what it takes to deal with misfortune when it occurs. And this is what acquiring a positive attitude is really all about. It's about fortifying yourself for a fight with a very real and very dangerous enemy, your own negativity. I think the word positive frustrates a lot of people. I mean, because I hear people say all the time, well, how do you expect me to be positive, Steve, when nothing in my life was working? Or it's easy for you to be positive, you didn't lose your job. Well, maybe we should consider a more realistic interpretation of what it means to be positive. Because I'll tell you, I've learned a long time ago that being positive isn't always about feeling good. In fact, I think it's healthy to feel bad sometimes. Think about it. I mean, it's a good thing. That means that you're human. You're not a robot. Are you following me? And being positive doesn't mean that we never make mistakes. True positivism is knowing that we learn from making our mistakes, and as a result of learning from our mistakes, we move forward knowing that we're better people. Why? Because we become empowered, wiser, and more resilient than before. Being positive doesn't mean that you should always smile and enjoy every single moment of your life. Give me a break. As a matter of fact, give yourself a break. It's knowing that sometimes it's okay to cry, to mourn, to feel sad, every now and then get into a bad mood. And you don't always have to be in control of your emotions. Sometimes it's okay to get angry, get pissed off, lose your temper, yell at someone, throw something. Don't worry. Your positivity license will not be revoked. Positive people instinctively know that adversity happens to everyone and that it's necessary in order for them to grow. And I believe that's why we're here on this planet. And I want you to get this. We are here on Earth to experience, learn, grow, and become the person we're meant to become. And it can't be stressed enough that the filter through which you view your life experiences will ultimately determine who you become. In other words, how you choose to experience all of the things that happen to you, be it good or bad, right or wrong, fair or unfair, will determine what you learn. And that continued learning determines how you grow. And this continued growth, well, that shapes who and what you become. Your job, your responsibility every single step along the way is to become the very best person you can be in any given circumstance. And that's the word, according to Bob.